Okay, lesson 76, consecutive integers. These are integers. They're the whole numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, and all the negatives. No fractions, no square roots, no decimal. Those are integers, means whole. And consecutive means in a row. So the first question says, find three consecutive integers such that the sum of the first and the third is 146. Well, we let n equal the first one. So the next one must be one more than that, n plus one. And the third one must be one more than that, n plus one plus one or n plus two. So these are your three consecutive integers. They differ by one. First one, second one, third one. So it says the sum of the first and the third. So we sum means to add. So n plus n plus two equals 146. I like to simplify each side separately. So 2n plus 2 equals 146. I subtract 2 from both sides. At this point, you shouldn't have to write it. You should just be able to do it mentally. 2n equals 144. And then I divide both sides by 2, so n equals 72. So my answer is 72, 73, 74. And you can see the sum of the first and the third is 146. The second problem, find three consecutive integers such that twice the sum of the first two is two less than three times a third. A little bit harder. So here's the first, here's the second, here's the third. So the sum of the first, so twice the sum of the first and second is equals, so you see the is, that's the equal, 2 less than is minus 2. I like to write it at the end of the, uh, the far right there. 3 times the third. The third number is n plus 2. They always do the work inside the parentheses first, so n plus n is 2n. And then we use the distributive property. 2 times 2n is 4n. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times n is 3n. 3, 3 times 2 is 6 minus 2. I simplify each side separately. The 6 minus 2 is 4. I subtract 3n from this side, subtract 2 here, or you can just move it to the other side, changing sign. 3n becomes minus 3n, 2 becomes minus 2. And so you get 4n minus 3n equals 4 minus 2, n equals 2. So my three consecutive integers are 2, 3, and 4, and then you can check the work. The sum of the first two is 5, so that gives you twice is 10, and the third, three times the third is 12, two less than. You know your answer is correct. One more after this.